keeping the celebrities on the sugar-free wagon will be our resident nutritionist, Angelique Panagos. There's so many different effects that sugar has in the body. Weight gain, which leads to cardiovascular disease, diabetes. We're also looking at infertility now and lack of energy. So people don't have the stamina that they used to have 10, 20 years ago when we used to eat less sugar. Not in the short days of winter, according to nutritionist Angelique Panagos. So the sun actually has to be at a certain angle, so it has to be about 50 degrees above the horizon. And that way, the UVB rays can actually penetrate through the atmosphere and help us to synthesize vitamin D. But in the UK, the sun in winter is always very low. The sun's unfortunately, it's letting us down. So from about October through to April, we can't synthesize vitamin D. So if you live in the UK, and you go out into the sunshine in winter, mm. you're not really getting a vitamin D benefit. You're not getting the vitamin D benefit. Expert. Experts, we've got an expert here. We're joined by the sugar-free farms nutritionist, Angelique Panagos. Angelique, it's lovely to see you. Lovely to be here, thank you. I hope I pronounced that right. You did, thank you. Yes. Um, so, what do you think? She says, I eat bread every day and I've lost 26 pounds. Can you diet and eat bread? I think you can. You can, but there has to be some ground rules. Yeah. We have to have it as part of a healthy eating yeah. plan. We have to have it in moderation, so there has to be some control over it. And it needs to be the right type of bread. So we don't actually know what bread Oprah's uh, eating every so day. So this bread that tastes like... So we've probably taken about half off of that pile. But this pile is actually what all of you eat collectively in one year. This pile is 360 kilos of sugar. And that's a problem. So you're saying I eat 60 of these a year? I can tell you exactly how many of those we've worked out. Oh, Hi, I'm Angelique Panagos, nutritional therapist and author of The Balance Plan. I'm with Asquith today to show you one of my favorite smoothies. Smoothies are often really full of sugar, so I've got a few little tips for you to help keep your smoothie nice and healthy. I've gone for macadamia nuts, and we only need about 30 grams, which is about a handful of nuts. Only one fruit per smoothie. I've gone for blueberries, and we only need about 80 grams. Next up, cinnamon. We only need about half a teaspoon. Made with love. It is actually. Mm. You've got protein, you've got carbs, and you've got vegetables. So you've got everything in there that you need to, to make you feel full. Perfect. See, I'm learning. You I'm taking it all in from you, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. I'm going to start working for you. I can feel it coming on. I feel that this was. The moment when I was able to find my hormonal harmony was when I did this. My greatest learning has been working to optimize my hormones as a journey, a series of gentle, consistent changes over time. This is my message. A lifestyle that achieves hormonal balance is about consistency, not perfection. And as you're breathing in, imagine this little blue flame in your belly is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as you breathe out, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, but it never goes out. Are you ready? Let's breathe. Breathe in for one, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In. Cut open the day. Oh, oh my God, it's delicious. Okay, I might have had two or three, but anyway, there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is that all these bars and products on the market today, they're so filled with these dates that we're having too much of the one thing and we're not having enough of the proteins. I've also gone with some cashew nuts and with almonds. To help and us decode this, our speaker today is Angelique Panagos, one of the UK's leading nutritional therapists. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Angelique Panagos. I think I could be here all day with you with hair and skin, but we are finding our power and we're smashing through the taboo of not talking about periods or cramps or mood swings or fertility journeys. Those few little tips that I've given you there have given you some hacks in your arsenal that you can take that away with you and you can start implementing it today. Our balance plate, the four seven breathing, getting good quality movement in. And I hope that that will help you return to that place of I am woman. Hear me roar.